Welcome to WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca. It's the final race of the afternoon. Stock 1000s. No, that's not the start. That should be just their warm up. Or is it the start? As hard as they're coming off, it looks like that may be the case. No, that's a warm up lap. They are uh, hard off for the grid. And this is the first and only race for the Stock 1000s. Robbie Floyd next to Jonathan Green. And as we take a look at the guys as they get their warm up lap, you see Andrew Lee. He will set pole. Stefano Mesa, who's his second hit him in championship points, just behind Jeff May, who's been fast this weekend, going to start on the inside of row one. Yeah, we'll talk about Jeff May's problems because he had a few, um, but uh, he's okay now. And as you can see, Ferreira, uh, Debrino coming into the championship this weekend and good at getting a good qualification or two ahead of Michael Gilbert. Yeah, we'll see Travis Wyman in there. Not the best qualifying spot, uh, middle of that third row, but we'll see him probably try and work his way up through the front. Bradley Ward and Miles Sorton to each side of him as well as we look back to uh, the fourth row. Yeah, Frenchak and Zvik. Mishalev. Uh, Mishalev, I'm guessing. Are you getting it I'm right? Trying. Michelayev, I'm trying. It, yes. it has an American hey, flag. Hey, I can get Melissa Paris's right name. She's, <laughs> she's, one of my, she's one I know. Nicholas Sealing and Aaron Ashka. Now, Ashka's coming in for the first time as well. So we've got some new names to talk about, which is good. Roy Holster, Jeff Perk, and uh, Sean Thomas will be on row number six. It's a full field of Stock 1000, our closest field as far as points are concerned. We only have a two-point differential between first and second. Utrecht, DeLong, and Heflin. Uh, rounding out row number seven. There's 21 of our competitors, almost uh, 20 plus here today. Row number eight, uh, Daniel Mole, a kind of a, a guest ride. I know uh, the guy who's working on that bike has also been working on Alex Dumas' machine as well. It's kind of a, a pickup ride, a, a Southern California boy. Today's coverage has been brought to you by Dunlop, the official tire of the 2019 Moto America Championship. And you know what, Robbie? All I can say is beat that, boys, because the last race was a doozy. Yeah, and we don't want to let too much uh, out of the bag. You can watch it on video on demand. Welcome to Moto America Plus. Robbie Floyd, Jonathan Green, who's going to win this Stock 1000? Qualifying, it was Andrew Lee. He's been fastest, topping the charts the entire time. We know Stefano Mesa. I talked to him. He threw on a new tire. That... That's why he jumped at the very end of qualifying. He did not get a good jump right there, but Jeff May did on the inside. But Wheelie's not necessarily a good thing. Hard time setting that front end down, and now Mesa pushing on the outside. Yeah, May got away well. Andrew Lee, though, leads them, and here comes May up the inside. He's not going to quite squeeze it through, and around the outside goes Mesa. We talked to Stefano Mesa, and he's on a new machine. We Whoa, talked, oh, somebody, somebody had a bobble. How did he not go over the bars? I couldn't tell who that was. but that a looked, Kawasaki, I know that. Yeah, it looked like he was going to buck him over the front, but he was able to save it. Whoever that was, my hat's off to you, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it could have been Miles Thornton, actually. Or, or it could have been Ferreira, because somebody uh, Ferreira went backwards from the start. He's down in eighth position, but it's Andrew Lee leading the way as they dive into turn four for the first time. Um, four different winners in five different races. The only rider to repeat win is Andrew Lee, who's out in front right now. He's coming off that victory at the last round in Utah, and it was a quite convincing victory. But you look at his championship. He started off with a last lap pass for the win in Atlanta. Then he had the one fourth place finish, and we were like, what's wrong? Mm. Well, he nearly, he crashed, and he nearly ground off his finger. He decides to still try and compete in this championship, and that fourth is the worst finish he's had all year. He went yeah. fourth, third, second, first. What does he do today? Yeah, pretty cool. Gilbert in fifth position at the moment, and uh, keeping an eye on him. Bradley Ward, keeping a close eye on him. The Brit uh, in sixth position, his best qualifying so far. He'll really want to make hay this time here in the sunshine of Monterey. Looks Out like, of the last corner, they come. Looks like a little bit of a gap between uh, Ward and Thornton there. Those top six guys, a nose to tail. You can throw a blanket over them. Down the front straight, the fastest of 128.71 of Andrew Lee, May, Mesa. You see those riders, one, two, three. That's how they've been pretty much all year, throwing Gilbert in the mix as well. Gilbert back there in fifth place on the 55. In fact, Gilbert now dropping to six as Bradley Ward goes up to fifth on the 7.57. Seven. So Ward making, as I expected, some good ground here, having had that best qualifying so far. He's just in the distance there as we look at the top three. Good start from Mesa. Good start from May. May had a, like, remember when we were in practice? 
practice and May wasn't yeah. there. Like, where was I went, he? Yeah, I went and saw him. I said, where, where have you been? And he goes, oh, man, don't talk to me. He goes, I got out. He said, I realized I had no breaks. I got to turn two and realized I had nothing. So he said, right in the middle of the session, I came straight back in, had to literally do it myself, but I had to take the whole front tire off, redo it, you know, recalibrate everything, and then go out. So he said, I only got out for a, the last few laps, but it was good enough to put him on the front row. So Jeff May... Uh, Definitely showing some uh, calm under pressure, for sure. And that's May. You're seeing in second spot the Ameris Bank. Uh, finance is on his side. But you also have uh, the Franklin Armory. Graves Kawasaki of Andrew Lee out in front. So it's Lee, May, and Mesa. One, two, and three. Um, Stefano Mesa on a new motorcycle. The one victory that he had this year, he did it on a borrowed bike. But this is a new machine. Uh, fresh motor, going to be strong. Threw on some of those uh, you know, hard parts, the pipes, and things like that. Uh, swapped over some of the suspension, but you know that that fresh bike feeling. It's like getting in a car. You know that new car. The smell. new bike smell. Yeah. yeah, he's got the new bike <laughs> smell going today. One twenty-seven zero from Stefano. Talking of which, just did the fastest lap uh, so far. There he is in third place. So he's keeping a handy watch on Jeff May ahead of him and Andrew Lee leading this race. There he is, the thirty-seven. And Mesa only two points behind Andrew Lee in this championship hunt. The tightest of all of our five. Uh, Racing classes, Michael Gilbert, 32 uh, points behind Travis Wyman in fourth. Where's Travis Wyman right now on the track? Looks like in seventh place. Yeah, interestingly enough, the top three, look at them, the only men in the 27s, and everybody else almost a second off the pace of the leaders. That's how quick they're going, and look how quickly they're dropping them. Now you can see the gap between third place and this man in fourth now, this Bradley Ward. Yeah, Bradley Ward on the 7.57. I tell you what, that would be a great result for Bradley uh, coming in to the championship for the first time this year and really making uh, a name for himself at the moment because uh, he's, he's been there or thereabouts, but this is definitely the best weekend so far and currently in fourth position. So he'll be ready for a podium if either of these guys at the front have a problem. Yeah, started off the year with eighth place and followed up with a sixth, a 13th, and a 10th where you look at Andrew Lee and he hasn't finished outside the yeah. top four yeah, yeah. And, and that's why he's in that points lead. But... Jeff May didn't start the year with us, right? I mean, we didn't see him, but we did see how fast he was when he did jump in. Has a first and a second out of the three races he's competed. That one uh, problem was at Road America. No contest there on the second race. But a first and second, not too bad for a part-timer. Yeah, I got to say, Jeff, Jeff thought he'd retire, but he did some club racing just because he likes it, you know, just to go out there. And he said, you know what? I'm still pretty fast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> why, don't right. I, why don't I give it another go? Here's the corkscrew in slow mo. I wish I could be as fast as he is on his days off. I mean, even not on another track. Look at that perfect uh, move. Not you only to use that rumble strip. You're seeing the red tires. That is the softest of the soft options. Um, they actually had four tires to choose from on the fronts for these stock 1000s, uh, and that looks like that would be the super soft he's got on the front and the rear. That red banding. Mm -hmm. So, Sebastio Ferreira not getting a good start. Down in ninth now, he's dropped back. But the man moving forward is Bradley Ward. Now, can he catch up to this group, I wonder? Not seeing him in that picture right there, but you did see Jeff May taking a look behind, wanting to know where Stefano Mesa was in that area. And we've seen that, you know, throughout the races today and then this weekend. Just kind of want to keep an eye out. You have somebody with a pit board identify who's right behind you and how far, but... Okay, where's the next guy? Well, mm -hmm. the, this is a three-man pod here. Yeah. They know what they're dealing with. Yeah, Ward some distance off, but he is actually in the 27, so he's trying to break away from the group behind him, and that's Debrino, Gilbert, and Wyman in the BMW. Andrew Lee with the fastest of Sector 3 in 1985, but really, other than that, Jeff May had a, a quick Sector 1, one of his quicker ones, but you're starting to see Stefano Mesa starting to, to put the screws to Jeff May. Maybe he's saying... I can't let Andrew Lee get away. I need to try and make a pass. This is a, what, a 12-lap race. We're lap five of 12. There's eight more to go. And you don't want to let Andrew Lee pull away. We saw what happens when Lee starts edging out. He will, he will leave you. Yeah, no question about it. That's the thing about Laguna. We've seen some fantastically close racing all weekend. But you can't give a guy too much space because once you get in the zone here, you can break the toe very easily and be on your own, which is exactly what Lee is trying to do now as he's fastest laps, 27-0. Last time out, three tenths quicker than the men chasing him. Well, remember, we saw at Utah, Jeff May looked like he was the fastest, and then Andrew Lee came up there, and then Lee not only passed him, he checked out. Well, right now, you're seeing Lee up front, and it looks like he may be trying to check out just a little bit. Um, Jeff May's still not too far behind, but, you well, know, that had to be a little discouraging for him at Utah because it literally, once it happened, uh, Andrew Lee was gone. Yeah, he 
Jeff May just did his first fastest two splits and then got slow down in the uh, third split. And Seeing a couple of greens in the sectors there and the, the gap, the differential up to six tenths in each one of those. That's on the plus side. It's the Stock 1000 race, our final race of the afternoon. It's a little different throughout the uh, the uh, Moto America Championship here paired with the World Superbikes, the World Superbikes race, the EBC Brake Superbikes race. We also had a Twins Cup race, and it'll be their one and only shot for the weekend. And this will be the one and only shot for the Stock 1000s as well. Tomorrow will be our third day of uh, this event. We get to see the super sport out there for the first time as well as the Lico Molly Junior Cup. So make sure you tune in tomorrow for the third day of competition and the EBC Brakes Superbikes as always get two races per weekend. Driving hard seeing some green from Andy Debrino in there a personal best on sector one and sector two for Andy back in fifth. Yeah he's kind of recovered hasn't he? He didn't get a good start and now he's uh, starting to build. Michael Gilbert running strong in uh, six. Wyman as well in uh, seventh. Thornton and Sebastiao Ferreira, uh, personal best in sector two. Jeff May's just still in touch at the moment with Andrew. And uh, the gap is ex officially 0.6, but it's come down, I think, in this last lap. Mesa's right there, too. So let's check him out as they come across the strip again to complete this lap, because I think May has closed him down on this last lap. Well, that last time, Andrew Lee, uh, the best time is 126.89. His last lap was that 126.89. This, this previous lap, 127.4. Do you think he's trying to catch his breath right now, or did he make a mistake? I, I really didn't see a mistake, but again, trying to pace himself. Yeah, the gap down to 0.5 now, and so Andrew Lee's team will be telling him that, but uh, Lee doesn't seem the kind of guy that get flustered too often. No. He's pretty smooth about how he goes about his business. And whether he's in first or second or third for that matter, you know, I talk about the race win back at Atlanta. He stayed in second place the entire race until the last lap and pounced on uh, Michael Gilbert. Uh, for the victory on the last lap, literally only a few turns from the end. So he's a very patient rider, uh, patient when he's in second, but he's running pretty patient right now in first, and he can kind of let that lead ebb and flow. Jeff May just behind. Again, you said a half a second uh, that last time around across the stripe. We'll see where it is this next time. Coming through the corkscrew, then will be the rainy curve. Big left-hand bender. Hard, hard, hard left-hand turn. One right-hander here. You see all the black from the racing lines from these guys. And the final turn will be a left-hander bringing you down that front straightaway. Need a really good drive coming down the front. Really not letting the bike step out and uh, swing around to the right. You know, I thought Jason Ort made a really good point when he was talking to you in commentary earlier, saying when you're leading a race, it's sometimes hard to keep the concentration going because, because almost you're not, when you're behind somebody, you're concentrating fully on exactly what they're doing and what you're doing to, to counteract it. When you're out front, sometimes you can kind of get in the zone a little bit and zone out almost. Yeah, and, uh, good to have Braden up in here with me earlier. And you're, you're not seeing fourth place in the picture in that top three group, but fourth, fifth, Six and seven. Boy, they're in there super tight. Bradley Ward, Andy Debrino, Michael Gilbert, Travis Wyman. Look at them going back and forth. It's been Debrino who's kind of been putting the push on, but also Travis Wyman, the fourth rider in that picture, a couple of personal bests in sectors threes and four. He knows now the time. Might not get up in that top three, but if I can get fourth, it has to feel like a win for him. Yeah, I mean, this either man, actually, uh, both Ward and Debrino would be very happy with a result of fourth. And I think uh, Brad, Bradley Ward's going to get those elbows out, those British elbows out, and uh, say, hey, man, you're not coming by, so this is my day. Watch out for the BMW elbows. The We're Everywhere Racing entry of Travis Wyman, the third rider in that picture. He's going to be uh, putting the moves on here very shortly, trying to close in on Andy Debrino, the 62, because the BMWs made up one spot that last lap. We'll see if he can close in on Debrino. And, and still, Michael Gilbert back there in the, the fourth rider in that picture. He's not backing down either. Wide running elbows. It's funny because elbows is here this weekend. Uh, ben Speed. <laughs> the official, yep. Oh, and tucking it. There goes oh, Ward. No, 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 no. Went no. down, what just grabbed shame. the front binders too hard. Goes off. He's still, you know, in the top seven, eight now, losing spots, but he wants to try and get as many points as possible. But unfortunate for him, I, I saw a World Superbike rider do the same thing earlier. 
His name starts with a bow and ends with a tista. <laughs> Giving nothing away. Ward going down hard that time. And let's take a look one more time. Going in that left-hand turn. That's the last turn. And, and you had just too hard on the front brakes. A little too much pressure, but no pressure for Andrew Lee at the moment. Not too much. I say no. Not too much pressure from Jeff May. You see the 99 just behind. Four laps to go. And Andrew Lee in total control, looking good at the moment, I have to say. May's keeping him honest, but the gap staying at 5.5. And Andrew Lee controlling this race at the moment. And, dro and dropping back a little bit at Stefano Mesa. He's kind of dropped out of that picture. Looks like a two-man race now with Lee and May. Does May have anything left? Probably the most experienced of all of our riders in the field in the Stock 1000. Andrew Lee, the defending champion, trying to go back-to-back. -back. Debrino moved up into fourth after the fall by Bradley Ward, but they're not anywhere close to this front three runnings. Now we're starting to get into some lap traffic too. Will that affect, uh, you know, you're the first guy that comes into that traffic. It's always tough. Where you don't want to get traffic is at the top of the hill, at the corkscrew. That's the worst possible scenario. Through here, there's room. You can get through on four and five and up the hill, maybe at six, but to, like you see, the traffic doesn't make any difference right here, but it's at the top, top of the hill where he's got to be worried and may get through too. So both of them through as they head up towards six. And that was the case where Andrew Lee comes by and was able to horsepower his way by the, uh, the traffic. But once that rider does make that move, that enables the lap guy to go, okay, somebody else is coming and can be a little bit more aware. So Jeff May, uh, no problems up there. Now they flick it to the right. Now the left heading down into the corkscrew one more time. Only about two and a quarter laps remaining here at WeatherTech Raceway, Laguna Seca, the Stock 1000. Andrew Lee has been out in front since the start. Jeff May in second. Stefano Mesa third. Andy Debrino fourth. Travis Wyman worked his way up from what, that third row in eighth, now up into fifth spot. Travis Wyman will be happy with a fifth place. That's a decent uh, result for him if he can stay there. And obviously that's been helped by the fact that Bradley Ward went down. MP13, Melissa Paris back in 13th spot. Scoring some points. She'd like to be uh, MP12 at least today. <laughs> yeah, they pay the top five, 15 positions. Right now, Sean Thomas and Jeffrey Perk, 14th and 15th respectively. Roy Holster needs to move it up a spot. Is that Wyman making a, a move? Yep, able to get by. Andy Debrino, so Wyman now up into fourth spot. It's a good run. Good run by Travis Wyman, his brother, not having the best of days, but uh, we can talk about that another time. So there are seven riders in front of him. He's gotten by three. Now uh, Travis Wyman up into fourth place. Wyman on that BMW, the We're Everywhere Racing entry, able to get by Andy Debrino, the 62 entry, uh, EDR performance, Debrino Racing. That Yamaha. Drops back one spot. Here's that pass just yeah, going to the done. inside nice and hard. And uh, Andy just didn't even see it coming. Look like Gilbert was uh, close in that picture. I don't see him there. I think May's going to make an attack now. Here he comes. Two laps to go or less than now. Uh, but uh, it's going to be uh, do or die. And I think Andrew Lee might get a bit of a shock if he doesn't know exactly where uh, May is. He's certainly close enough. White flag waves. Can May do something? Maybe not. One more to go, about a minute and 20 seconds left in this race. The Stock 1000's Andrew Lee has been uncontested for the most part with about a half a second differential. That could feel like an eternity. It could feel like a nightmare for Andrew Lee. If he comes into lap traffic, Jeff May took a look over so he can take some different lines. It will not affect him if he feels they're faster. Maybe swing a little bit wider and know that nobody's going to dive underneath him. Andrew Lee. Hard into the left-hand turn, working his way uphill. Another left, and you see some lap traffic as they're still working their way uphill. High horsepower, these stock 1,000s. Turn seven. 
Now through eight, the corkscrew. Nine, or eight A. Whoa, it's getting tight there, and Andrew goes through it, the Wayne rainy curve. Jeff May not able to work through as easily. Andrew wants to get to that inside, trying to get by. Maybe Sean Thomas. Looks like the triple deuce of Manuel Segura. Left hand turn down the front straightaway. No problems in his third victory in 2019. Andrew Lee, the defending champ, extends his points lead over Stefano Mesa. Jeff May is going to finish in second. Mesa is going to finish third. And it looks like Travis Wyman going to come across in fourth. But what a run by Andrew Lee. Andrew Lee, the number one rider for 2018, is the number one rider in 2019 at Franklin Armory Graves Kawasaki. Fastest lap of 126.89. It's about a tenth off of his qualifying lap. And, uh, and that is to the better and showing you the two-wheel skills of Jeff May. He's having fun. Man knew he had a little speed left in him, and that's definitely going to be the case as uh, he finishes on the podium once again. Jeff May, a victory, a couple of seconds in the uh, four attempts here in 2018. Only about three seconds off the EBC Brake Superbikes. Maybe two and a half seconds off. Hand shake as they work their way back up the hill. Hundred and fifty miles an hour, the top speed. Really uh, not far off the top speeds from the EBC Brake Superbikes. There's plenty of power in those stock 1000s. And literally for the most part, except for the pipes, those are literally stock machines as well. Horsepower, not a problem. Travis Wyman would finish in fourth. Michael Gilbert in fifth. So Gilbert does get by Andy Debrino on that last lap and a half. In this 12-lap affair, Debrino goes from fourth to sixth with only a few laps remaining. Sebastian Ferreira, who he thought might have been the guy who got that huckabuck and almost chucked over the front. We think that was him. Able to regroup things, get back to seventh. Miles Sorton in eighth. Dougie Fresh, Dougie Frenchak in uh, ninth place. George Michelayev in 10th. Good run by Stefano Mesa. Not the finish he wanted, especially with that new bike. Still maybe sorting things out with it, but uh, just didn't have anything though for those first two today. He was just a little bit off the pace in qualifying, uh, but he was running a used tire for the most part and threw on a fresh one towards the end and made up a little bit of ground. But even if he would have started pole, I'm not sure if he had anything for Andrew Lee today. Jeff May sitting back there the entire time. It looked like uh, he was close to running the same pace of Lee, but not able to uh, make that charge at the very end, even though lap traffic looked like it could have been a problem. Graves Kawasaki had the HP. Looking at the top three, all of those guys on the uh, podium there in Park for May on Kawasaki's. Uh, the lone BMW. If our field, Travis Wyman in fourth. Another Kawasaki, Michael Gilbert in fifth. Andrew Debrino, the first Yamaha. First Suzuki we see. Uh, Miles Sorton back in eighth place. Just behind Sebastian Ferreira. For Franklin Armory, a new uh, armory, a new color scheme, but uh, familiar number one position for Andrew Lee. Beautiful view here today, bluebird skies of the Monterey racetrack, known as WeatherTech Raceway, Laguna Seca. Let's go down to Jonathan Green, who is our winner, now making a three-time winner here in the Stock 1000 for the 2019, Mr. Andrew Lee. Was on me the whole time, so I, I heard him the whole time, too. So I, I just knew the bike was good, and I just had to keep hitting my marks. And 
I'm just really happy that uh, everything went to to my plan, but it's a special thanks to my team. I mean, the Franklin Armory Graves Kawasaki crew has really been killing it this year, like make, making my bike the best there is. So I also want to do a special shout out to my friend Gabe. He just lost his house in a fire. So this one goes out to you. Nice words. Thank you, Andrew. And out the corner of my eye, I've just seen Jeff May. So let's, let's keep going with this and bring all Jeff in. Good job, my friend. Um, and hang on for a second, Jonathan. We're going to take a look at just how fast that Andrew Lee was in that chicane. And, and that was funny. He said, I could hear him. He didn't have to turn around. That's how close they were. Andrew Lee could hear Jeff May just behind him and kept him at bay the entire time. So Andrew Lee, hand fist up in the air, could hear him. He didn't have to see him. Jeff May was ever, never able to peek in there and just didn't quite have enough for him. And it looks like Jonathan has caught up with Jeff with the G. Yeah, he's right here with me now. And Jeff, it's frustrating. Half a second was all it was, but you just couldn't close it any further than that. Yeah, you know, it was stronger than him on what seemed like half the track, and he was stronger than me on half the track. And he was able to get the power to the ground a little better than I was, and uh, that seemed to make the difference because I could catch him coming in, but coming out, I was fighting a lot of chatter mid-corner, and, you know, it is what it is. So I, I tried to keep him honest the whole race and was hoping he'd make a mistake and I could just snatch the win. But I'm happy to bring the Marist Bank uh, Kawasaki ZX-10 home in second today. We'll keep rolling on to Sonoma and see if we can't get a win there. Okay, I'm going to say they can't be mad at you at the office on Monday for that result, surely. No, not at all. Actually, i got to fly out tomorrow on Sunday. I'm going to miss tomorrow's race. Got to be back at the office Monday and <laughs> keep doing the mortgage thing. Back to the real job. Keep it up, my friend. We'll see you at Sonoma. Thanks for much, <laughs> Jeff. If anybody needs a mortgage, here's your guy, <laughs> Maris Bank, <laughs> Jeff May. So he said he was good on entry, but the exit had that chatter. So... It's great. You can be fast going in, but you can't drive out. That's where the problem arises uh, for Jeff May. So good run for him. I'm sure he looked happy there for second place. Uh, Stefano Mesa, maybe not so much finishing in third, especially with the new bike, Jonathan. Stefano Mesa, he's never upset. He's never sad. He's always ha look. He's always happy. How about that? Third place. I know you wanted more this weekend. New bike, uh, but it performed well. Yeah, good racing. Uh, we got up to pace only in the fir uh, today's qualifying, so I'm happy about the results today. My whole crew worked so hard. I wanted to battle with the top guys since it's my mom's birthday, but hey, at least we got on the podium, so this one's for her, and my hat's off to everybody that makes this possible, and we're just going to keep working away, and hopefully we'll be running with them top with the top one soon. Podium for Mama's boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> well done, mate. And happy birthday for uh, Mama Mesa. You see, Stefano, uh, he was good there. I mean, I, he was fast. He was in that top three for a while, and then finally at the end, he said, I, it's not going to happen. Don't push too hard and uh, exit stage left or right. I guess there's another day. We still got another uh, four rounds to go for the stock 1000s, but Andrew Lee, Jeff May, and Stefano Mesa, the top three. And you see the differential. The three seconds was really not that tight. Uh, for most of the race, it was within one second. But Travis Wyman, a good charge up through the pack. Uh, Michael Gilbert as well. I'm not sure what happened to Andy Debrino at the end, but something went away. He went from fourth to sixth. Ferrara, Thornton, and Dougie French in the uh, top nine. There's a second page. MP13 actually finishes in 14th spot. I was hoping she would move up to 12th, but that was a uh, ceiling spot. Uh, Melissa drops back to 14th. Sean Thomas, Roy Holster, and Corey Heflin in 17th. Looking at the championship point standings, it was a two-point differential heading into this round. Uh, now we see Stefano Mesa losing nine this time, and now he's 11 points arrears from Andrew Lee. You see how quick it can happen. Uh, a first for Mesa, a fourth for Lee, and Mesa's back on top of things. But things are uh, looking still tight for one and two, but time is running out for the rest. If you're going to have a chance to get up there on that podium at the end of the year at Barber Motorsports Park, Andrew Lee leads with 124 points, trying to go back-to-back -back in the stock 1,000s.